Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I know, two days in a row, with the coronavirus and the social distancing, having to stay at home, I figured might as well just make a daily video. We literally just had this question come up on our podcast. Somebody asked, what is your tack and feed situation look like? Where do you keep all your stuff at the ranch? And so we're gonna show you right now. You may recognize this room from a lot of the other videos. And this is our workshop, our shed, our feeding area. Over here we have our feed. We got the total equine for the boys and then the equine senior for Leah and Takate. We also have a little box full of supplements and just kind of random knickknack stuff that we may need when we're feeding. And then we've also got some uh, joint supplement and some sand clear that we use to give the horses once a month. Maddie actually made this board and it's not so much for us, but if we have somebody that's here helping with the horses while we're gone, this is where they're gonna get the instructions. It's super easy to follow. And of course, a little bit of color coordination never hurt. Off of the main barn, we have our tack area here. It's really nice and cozy. We've got everything that we need right in this one little spot. All of our saddles, bits, grooming equipment, and everything else you could possibly need to show and rope on horses. Hi, love. Hey. What's going on? Just coming to see what you're up to. You want to show everybody our saddles? <laughs> sure. This is Blue's saddle, Leah's, and this is Smoke's. So, got them all nice in a neat little row with all of our assorted footwear underneath. <laughs> On the back wall over here, we've got all of our bits. So, English bits, uh, these are some assorted Western bits. This is actually the one that I ride smoke on. Um, different tie downs for the boys, and then we've got Blue's bit on this end. We try to keep it as organized as possible. Sometimes it goes awry, but we like to at least have a little bit of coordination and organization going. So, the top shelf right here is mostly hoof conditioners and um, there's some joint relief and a little bit of leather maintenance and conditioning. On the bottom here, we just have an assortment of medical, medical supplies and everything that we can need for cuts and bruises and scrapes, which horses that are turned out will absolutely have. And then on the bottom, we have basically everything that we need to wash and make sure that there's no flies on horses. It really comes in handy whenever just in a rush that you can just run to whatever shelf that you need and pick up what you need to make sure that you get your horses taken care of. Okay, so I'm jumping into this video because I'm very proud of my shoe hanger holder. A lot of people on my Instagram asked me where I got this. It's literally a shoe storage hanger thing that my mom had since I was little, but you can find them on Amazon. And I took it to horse shows with me for polo wraps, overnight wraps, and I still use it to this day. And it was maybe like, I think you can find them on Amazon for $8. So pro tip, this is something I really recommend. Now that we've shown you all of our tag, it's time to put it to use. Let's go ride. These horses think that they're getting fed, but little do they know they're not. It's time to do some work on them. Ready to do some work, buddy? Some people say that horses are stupid. I don't think so. We literally came out and started saddling up and the gray horse is back here hiding. He's not getting ridden today, but he sure thinks he is. For those of you that watched our hay planting video, I wanted to show you something. Check this out. Check this out. Well, you're starting to get some sprouts. 
a bunch of weeds that are growing in here with it, but it is promising to see this stuff starting to come up. We're supposed to get a bunch of rain this weekend, and so that'll really help for sure. I'll keep you updated as we grow. Whoa, whoa horse. I'm just kidding, he's not going anywhere. Maddie and I were riding earlier, I got a notification that I have an Amazon package at the front gate. So instead of jumping in the truck, might as well just stay on the horse and go grab it ourselves. I can't really remember what I got, so I'm really hoping that it's not too big or we're going to have a hard time holding the camera, the reins, the box, and making it back to the house, alright? There they are. To be real honest, I'm pretty relieved that these are tiny packages. I did not think that through. That's it for us today, folks. One of my best friends said I need an outro saying, so this one's for you, Kurt. Bear at out.